My car is a 2002 C-Class station wagon. And the TCM module is on the passenger side, right there on that metal kick panel. So you pull the seat back, you take the carpet out and the trim out, and there are three 10 millimeter plastic nuts that hold that panel in. So the connector we're going to pull out is this left connector and we push on the tab right there and pull the connector out. Here's the connector and you can see the terminal numbers are written on the pins and we're going to test those with a multimeter. Okay, so these are the pins on my connector. Pin 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. On the top row, pin 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Some very small paper clips tiny ones like this two of them and we go one of them goes into 38 very carefully push it in there the other one goes to pin 36 4.7 ohms you notice the meter takes a few seconds to give you the reading. Here's a schematic diagram of the TCM connector and the solenoids and the conductor plate and the electronics connector into the transmission. Attach one lead to pin 38 Pin 38 is common to all the solenoids. So the first solenoid that we're going to test is the line pressure solenoid. And that is between 38 and 36. And we want to see 5.5 ohms. That number 5.5 ohms, that's a ballpark number. So the next one will be the 2-3 shift solenoid go to pin 16 right there 4.5 ohms pin 15 that's the 3 to 4 shift solenoid 4.5 ohms pin 37 the shift modulating pressure solenoid 5.5 ohms 17. Lockup clutch modulating solenoid. 2.7 ohms. And finally, 14, which is the 1 to 2 and the 4 to 5 shift solenoid. 4.5 ohms. If that 7 millimeter bolt is not engaging, it's because you got a deep well socket or your socket's too deep. So what I did was I took um, some paper towel and I stuck it into the socket to build the socket up till there was only a little bit of room for the bolt to come down into the socket. So this piece should be pushed all the way in. You shouldn't have to use the bolt to pull it in. So it should go all the way in by itself. Use some electrical cleaner up there to clean out anything that's obstructing the plug from going in. Also, you should um, test the plug on this piece to make sure it goes in before you install it. The reason I say that is because I have gotten a bad one of these that the electrical plug wouldn't go into. Obviously, you have to loosen that bolt before you pull the old one out. 
and you have to make sure it's all the way loose. Seven millimeter. Coat the O-rings with petroleum jelly and the connector will go in. It will press in with two fingers. It'll push all the way into the sleeve. So the one that's in there should not be loose. It should be snug. If you can reach up, if you can reach up and you can turn the black part like this back and forth, that means the O-ring is bad. It does not mean the conductor plate is bad. So if you have a, a leak, this is the most common place for a leak right here. Does the transmission have good fluid in it? The more fluid flushes you do, the better because you can't drain all the fluid out. You can only get about two-thirds of it out. So you need to do a few transmission fluid flushes anyway, and if you're using the Max Life, fluid's not that expensive. So, did the solenoids test good and the conductor plate test good? Then there's no reason to open up the transmission. Unless you think it's got 100,000 miles on it and the filter's never been changed. Then yes, go in there and change the filter. But now you're wondering why the car's still not shifting. Well, the car's not shifting because the car's in limp mode. And if the transmission goes into limp mode, where it stays in second gear all the time and won't shift, if it's in limp mode and you have a, a you know, a cheapo scanner, a cheapo OBD2 that's not, it's not the Mercedes-Benz specific scanner with the right software for Mercedes-Benz, it's not going to clear those codes. It'll say it cleared the codes, but it doesn't. You have to have a scanner that will specifically go into the TCM module, look at codes just from that module, and reset those codes. So you have to do that if the car is in limp mode. The answer is not to go back into the transmission and screw around with the conductor plate that you know is good or the solenoids that you know are good. Now there are a couple other parts on the conductor plate that we cannot test with the meter, but if the solenoids all tested good and you're just getting um, some generic reading, you need to reset it on a Mercedes-Benz specific scanner. This scanner is what I have and what I use and it's Mercedes-Benz specific and it lets you go into every module including the transmission module and look at those codes and reset them specifically which I had to do on my transmission because I had that bad plug and I started the engine and if you start the engine you don't have good electrical connections through the transmission that would include if you had a bad conductor plate a bad wiring harness a bad connector into the transmission that would send the TCM into limp home mode which means the car will stay in second gear. You can drive it home at 30 to 40 miles an hour but you don't want to be on the highway so and you need to do that electronic reset with the correct type of scanner. So I see a lot of people on these videos going back into the transmission and back into the conductor plate and back into the solenoids when there's nothing wrong there. And if they've done this procedure and tested that stuff from the TCM connector, they wouldn't have even had to go in there except to do the normal maintenance that the transmission requires and of course you're doing right tell me you're you're doing the basic maintenance for the transmission anyway it's a very well made transmission and you know I'm, I'm not going to throw the whole thing out because of a bad o-ring on the connector seal what we really need are some better o-ring materials like some aerospace materials on that o-ring somebody should put a kit together of that anyway